Hey, what's going on everybody? I haven't made a video in a long time, uh, so I thought I'd make another one about what I've been doing. It's winter time here up in Washington, so uh, got a lot of work done. I'm getting a lot of work done on the boat. Uh, thought I'd share it with all of you. So uh, let's check it out. Uh, kind of boat's kind of torn apart right now because I'm making some big changes, but I'm pretty excited. It should be a good near year this coming season, so let's check it out. All right, so right now uh, I'm taking out my rudder rudder servo. I'm going to put it back here uh, so I get more uh, get more power to my rudders. I'm doing that right now. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of having these kind of torn apart here. Got my uh, rudder servo taken out. Now this, I'm actually building a bracket for it. If I can get it out here. Alright, there we go. So I'm building a little bracket for my servo it's gonna. I made a little gap right there. The servo is gonna sit in there, and then it's gonna sit in the back of the boat, just like that. Not like that, but uh, level, just like that. Um, and then, uh, so it'll be sitting like that. Uh, so I'll have more turn um, and more power going to, to going to the rudders, and I should be able to turn a lot sharper than I had with my setup last year. Um, so. Uh, another, th good, another thing that I'm pretty excited about is I got made my guns rotate. Uh, so let's check that out. So, alright. So that's my design that I did. Uh, I just took some PVC pipe and kind of made my own, had to make my own design, uh, which I cut out cut out a little portion of it and then drill some holes to put some zip ties and on the bottom here one second on the bottom on the, excuse me on the top all I did was make I made little wooden rings and just glued it to that PVC pipe so now my guns can rotate and I can still get my fingers in there to uh, load the guns if I, when I have to so so that's what I've been up to. Uh, not a whole, not uh, been pretty productive. Just uh, getting some things done, getting some new upgrades done to the boat. Um, oh, and I uh, uh, cut the deck up to get to have, be, have more versatility and make it a lot easier getting in and out. <coughs> Excuse me of uh, uh, putting batteries in and whatnot. Um, although, uh, from what you have seen last year. And I will cut to uh, a beautiful picture of my boat right now. Um, my boat has taken a lot of damage. People like to beat up on the big boats for some reason. So, so that's uh, got a lot of damage that I've been uh, had to cope with. So I'll uh, show you that right now. Right, you can see I've done a lot of patchwork. I actually had to re replace this entire front panel right here. See this line to the front? I had to replace that entire panel. It was completely shot out. One of the guys in our clubs has triple sterns on his uh, Iowa class. I think that's what it is. Um, on the USS Iowa, I'm pretty sure. Or it might be, so. I think it's South Dakota, correction. South, Co South Dakota. And uh, he pretty much laid waste to my bow one battle. Um, thank God I had it for dual pumps, uh, so I didn't sink. But uh, it was getting pretty hairy for a while, um, so I took, took took a lot of damage from that battle. I've uh, been patching along; everything's all dented and busted up. Uh, my superstructure took a beating. I got a lot of holes. Um, so I'm just I've been getting beat up a lot uh, with such a big ship. But uh, my dual pumps have been saved my saved my boat many times. So I'm really glad to have them. But uh, so that's really about it. Just been working hard, getting ready for the next season coming up, and I'm pretty excited, and I'll uh, try to make another video up pretty soon.